In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the Boyer BYWM4 wireless microphone. But before that, I'll just take a minute to explain why I bought it. In the news occasionally, we read about the millions of dollars that YouTubers are making, but that only applies to a very small number of people. Most people make nothing, and those that do make something only make a very small amount. This channel has less than 1,000 subscribers, and so it earns precisely nothing. This gives small YouTubers something of a dilemma. Obviously, people want to make good quality videos, but with no income coming in, it's difficult to justify buying expensive equipment. When I made my first YouTube video, I just used the microphone and the camera. It worked, but the audio quality wasn't very good, and I knew I needed to buy some external microphones, so I went out and bought these two. They're both made by Boyer. They're both inexpensive. This is the Boyer BYM1, and this is the Boyer BYMM1. The audio quality is fine, but they have limitations. This one has a six meter lead, and whenever I use it, the first thing I need to do is to untangle the lead. When I've finished, I fold it up as carefully as I can, but the next time, again, I have to untangle it. And when you've got leads running around, they're very easy to trip over, and it's not very convenient. This one is fine when you're talking directly to camera, but in videos like this, where I'm doing a product video, I've got the camera facing down on the floor, and it's difficult to get the microphone to point at my mouth. So again, it's fine in certain situations, but it's not ideal all the time. The ideal solution is not to have any leads and not to have a microphone that's directional. So that's why I bought the Boyer WM4. Boyer makes a few different variations that look quite similar. They all work on the 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. And the only thing I can work out that's different is the operating range. The WM2G works at 25 meters. The WM4 Mark II works at 30 meters. And this model, the WM4 Pro, is supposed to work at 50 meters. This one is the K1 model, which has one transmitter and one receiver, but there's also a K2 model which has two transmitters and one receiver, so that's suitable if there are two people speaking on the video. In the box, you get a microphone that plugs into the transmitter, and there are two cables depending whether you want to use it with a camera or a smartphone. If you want to use it with your camera, you use the TRS cable, and if you want to use it with your smartphone, you use the TRRS cable. Each unit has a clip, so you can attach it to an article of clothing. And there's also an adapter so that you can put the receiver on the hot shoe of a camera. Each unit uses two AAA batteries. There's an on-off switch on both and pairing buttons to connect the two. But I didn't need to use those because straight out of the box they connected automatically. There's also a gain control on the receiver unit to adjust the audio gain. The transmitter and receiver also have a status light. And what you want to see is the light on the receiver to remain on and the one on the transmitter to flash every second. That shows that they're connected. If, if both lights start to flash, then you know they're disconnected and you have a problem. Also in the box, you get quite a nice hard case to store everything. I haven't been using it long, so what I can't give you at the moment is a long-term view, but so far I've been quite impressed. The audio quality is good, and there haven't been any reliability issues. So as with the other Boyer microphones, I'm quite happy to recommend this one. The Boyer products seem to be very well made, and they're considerably cheaper than the well-known big-name brands. I hope that's been useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as I said earlier in the video, it's quite a struggle running a small YouTube channel. So if you can subscribe to my channel, it really does help. Thanks for watching.